to the back, to the back, to the back at it again with another say it with me now video spinio. I haven't said that in that long. Okay. Welcome back to another day in the life vlog, y'all. So today we are doing a day in the life of a 20 year old wife, mother. But since my mother-in-law's here, y'all, I'm really able to give y'all the wife teams of the thing, you know? Because finally we have some just time to breathe. Baby girl's with her grandma as we speak right now. So we as a couple can go to the gym. How does that feel? Feels good, you know. It takes me back to a time, you know, when we were still young and young and in love. Trying to figure life out <laughs> with each other and you know, still getting to know hot. each other. It is really cold no, in Atlanta though. right now. It's, it's like cool. Miss Mail though. We miss Fifty degrees. But yeah, we do miss our daughter. But we're able to go to the gym. So we were like, okay, let's do a little workout date. We both love working out. And we're like, let's do a little date. I'm actually going to take my husband that through. That's part one of our date. Because we, we ain't seen Black Panther yet. That's another part of it. Like, oh, we got, you're supposed to surprise me. Like, you just we tell got me. Like, like, you know, I got some plans. I got some plans for this good. weekend. So, um... We are doing a day in the life, so y'all just gonna come with us, see what's tea. I'm gonna give y'all just my perspective on, you know, being married young, being a mother young, how do I manage, how do I do it, do it with grace and elegance, and I'm gonna let you know. So we're headed to our workout. I'm gonna be bringing my husband through a workout with me. I've been following this bomb plan, and I'm like, let's do a little workout day together. Usually when we get to the gym, we just separate. I do my thing, he does his thing. But I was like, let's do something together since it's a date but before that we are going to head to the gas station because we're low on gas and as y'all know i love to save a coin one thing about me like i'm gonna save a coin thank you upside for sponsoring today's video if you want to get cash back you need to get upside we're going to redeem one of our upside offers so we can get cash back on our gas because you're gonna buy the gas regardless so you might as well get cash back with upside Thank you Upside for sponsoring today's video. Inflation has my family thinking about ways to cut back. Whether it's driving less, dining out less, or buying less at the grocery store, we can all agree that there's nothing fun about less. Now, thanks to Upside, you don't have to cut back. Get cash back on gas, groceries, and dining out with Upside. Today, my husband and I got cash back on our gas, which allowed us to go on a date night later that evening. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code PROSSER and get five $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for wherever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with credit or debit card, upload the receipt in your Upside app, and get paid. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating in the App Store. Make sure to download the free Upside app and use code PROSSER to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more with Upside. Okay, y'all, we just pulled up to the gym, and all of a sudden, Javon talks about, oh, oh, oh he don't want to do a group workout. He wants to go focus in. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, because I don't feel like talking either. Like, one thing about me, when I go to the gym, I just lock in, and I just get it done. So, I'm going to bring you guys through one of my workouts today, and we're going to get it in. It's going to be a full body. It's going to be a nice sweat. We're going to feel so good. And then Javon and I decided we're going to have, like, a little, you know, parent day, because we just been parenting holding it down and we finally have some help for the week so we're like let's take advantage and we're just gonna have like a nice little day out so let's go get this workout first though okay <laughs> Genesis 
Genesis up. You seem like these. No. Genesis is up in the hair. What's this about? What's this little piece over here? Oh, girl, you burped in my face. Okay, y'all, so we just got done with our workout and I just took a shower and got myself together. I can't even get myself together. But y'all, I was washing my eyelash extensions and look like, I think I like popped a blood vessel. Uh, I don't know. But, um, okay, so baby girl is up. So now it's mommy teens. Switch from the wife to the mama. Switch from the wife. And she's mad. I think she needs a diaper change. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. How, how do I do this mother thing? How do we do the mother thing? <laughs> You're so adorable. She's so strong. Look at her holding herself up, y'all. She's like, what, three? She's 13 weeks? 13 weeks, three weeks, or three months in one week. You are 13 weeks old. She's just growing and growing and growing. Let's change your diet. Hey, 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 hey. Can I help you? Can I help you out? I'm gonna help you with your diaper. While you talk to your aunties. I tell y'all all the time, we use Pamper Pure diapers and the wipes. Okay, okay, I'm helping you. I'm helping you. So y'all. The babies always ain't so cute, cute. Sometimes they be crying, crying. But I love making these videos for y'all. Sorry, you can't see me. Obviously, I'm changing her diaper. I love making these videos because when I was expecting, I wanted to know, like, what is it really like? What is it really like to be a mother? And let me just say, it's amazing. Try, but it's amazing because my baby is so pretty. You're so pretty. Let's see, do you have any gassies for my mom? You have gassies? Oh, yep. Oh, yep, that was, oh, wow. Wow, you were a gassy girl. What's this? Oh, wow, another one? This is literally so satisfying. One more, one more, one more. Yay, we got that out. We got it out. Okay, so basically, we were able to go to the gym a little bit later today. Usually, Javon and I alternate with who goes to the gym because, you know, we have a daughter. But my mother-in-law, she actually just ran to the store, but she's been holding it down. When I tell you we were able to sleep the whole night yesterday, like it's really a whole treat sleeping for one whole night with no interruptions, no wake-ups. And it just felt really amazing. So we're so glad to have her here. And we're definitely gonna take advantage of that because Javon and I are gonna do a little date night tonight. So very much work, play, mommy wife balance like yeah it's definitely it is a learning process i will say one thing that i've learned was very very important was just staying on the same page with my husband throughout everything because parenthood and the frustration and the exhaustion and the challenges of it sometimes create tension in the household that's why you have to just be best friends with your spouse. Like I genuinely find so much comfort and safety in my husband and I think that's just helped with this whole process because if we were both just butting heads like this in a very high tense season of our lives, it wouldn't make anything better. So instead of turning away from each other, turn into each other and receive help. <laughs> God has just been giving me words today for y'all, but receive help. I am somebody who is very much if I don't get it done, it's not gonna get done. I need to do everything because I need to make sure it's done a certain way and I don't like receiving help because that means that I'm not capable of managing my life and now I'm a failure and all of these thoughts that are not true that have in the past been very, very heavy in my thought life. What I've realized, especially with having a child and having a husband and having so many tasks pull me in so many different directions all the time is like, you need help, <laughs> you need help. And to anybody who doesn't wanna receive that help and take that help in, girl, this is your sign to take the help. Take the help with open arms because if you have genuine people on your side who are trying to help you, 
receive that baby girl because you deserve it like you deserve it as a mother as a wife you deserve to have an hour by yourself in the bathroom i mean that is literally my peace that is what i look forward to every night my husband holds it down and he knows i need my self-care so whatever that is for you whether it's getting to the gym whether it's having your self-care whether it's having a bible study or a quiet time with god make sure that that is a priority every day so you don't get burnt out because one thing you can get in this game is burnt out but i'm very big on prevention as well so i'm just like navigating new boundaries you know what i mean and there's just a lot of newness happening so we're just learning as we go aren't we this onesie i want to show you the onesie she's got on this onesie right here is a dupe for the kayit onesies you know the really expensive ones but when i say it's such good material girl i mean it like she loves these they're very comfortable they're very stretchy they're like a like nylon material but yeah, she looks so cute. So um, I'm just going to chill right now. I do have a little bit of filming to do. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then I'll hop back on here to update y'all a little bit later. What's up, y'all? Sorry for like the cartoons. I'm going to try to turn it down a little bit. But if it's quiet, she's going to start screaming. So it's either cartoons or crying. Okay. She's actually falling asleep. So it's time for me to pump. Whew. Okay. So y'all already know these are the pumps I use. Bomb Cozy S12s. And I'm going to tell you what I think about these pumps, what I think about pumping in general. I know a lot of y'all had a lot of questions for my last day in the life. And let me put you on to a hack. Hold on. Okay. So I actually need to wash these, but I saw that my fridge trick was actually very helpful for a lot of women. So if you don't know, literally just put your cups in the fridge, keep them in there between your pumps throughout the day, then at night wash your pumps. You do not have to wash your pumps every single time you use them. Just put them in the fridge because there is a little bit of milk residue. Boom, pop it in there, you good. But let me show you some breastfeeding things that have definitely helped me get through. I know last time I talked to y'all, my milk supply was dropping, I was going through it, but I'm happy to say that I'm starting to get it back up. And I have just not been playing about my water intake. I have also been going in on these. I take two or three of these a day. They're the liquid gold, it's actually recommended to take two three times a day that's six i was like that's too much i'm gonna take three a day so i've been using these and then for the soreness so as you know when you breastfeed you know it can get a little sore a little iffy so these are silver nursing cups they help with the soreness like not just with the chapness but like the aching soreness if you have that like ache and that soreness these are gonna be your best friend um i think they're like 30 dollars on amazon just put it in your bra put it over your nipples wear it all day and i promise you you're gonna feel so much better and then before every pump session i've been using this um it is some nipple cream and it's very thick which i like like i don't like an oily cream i need something very thick so i'll just put a little bit of this on before each pump session and it really helps but i am about to go wash my pumps let me tell you a few things about these pumps um so there's a lot of pieces which we know with the mom cozies i mean there's like the phalange and then there's like this piece this piece this piece when you're pumping make sure that this piece right here is sticking straight up and that it's even there's these lines i don't know if you guys can see but there's like these straight lines make sure it's aligned with the straight line because these are very dependent on the positioning i feel like when the positioning is off of this little thing right here it slows that suction which obviously means you won't be getting as much out as you need to i do 20 minute pump sessions so i'll sit down be on my phone honestly tiktok makes my pump sessions go by so fast because i don't know something about tiktok like time just gets lost with tiktok so i'll sit down for 20 minutes relax i'll like hold my baby's hand or make sure my baby is close to me that way i can get more milk because when you're in physical like touch when you're touching your baby physically i don't know something with our bodies the way god designed it like we get more milk so just make sure your baby's around and if your baby's not around try looking at pictures of your baby while you're pumping i promise you you're gonna get some more milk okay Whew, i'm sweating so these bras here are actually from hatch um they sent me a few stuff and honestly their stuff is bomb i really like this bra because it's very supportive it's like a higher quality version of the amazon ones that i showed you on my last video so if you want like a very high quality bra look at those from hatch but i'm gonna go ahead and wash out my pump cups and to do that i'm using my bottle cleaner and this soap this is the dapple bottle wash for baby's bottles great combo gonna go ahead and wash these pumps
one side we got like two ounces. That's my bad side. And then, boom, we got like a nice five, kind of lower, but that's a feeding for her, so I'm not mad at it. I've also been trying to get out of the pattern of like determining how I feel out of how many ounces I got because I be mad at myself sometimes like girl five ounces but at the end of the day this is enough to feed her for one feeding so I'm happy about it so yeah girl because I know it can be very easy to like beat yourself up about how much you pumped and how much you got but baby girl if that baby eating even if you formula feed it, if that baby's eating yeah you were doing amazing I've got all of her bottles already ready to go I honestly just ran out of milk storage bags so I've just been putting her stuff in her bottles and yeah, that way her Gigi can feed her. But let me show y'all my husband looking all fine. All fine. You look good, baby. So I think baby girl is asleep right now, y'all. So I think we're just gonna wait for her grandma to get back and then we're going to do like a little date night, get some sushi for whatever reason. I've been craving sushi and I don't know. I, have no, I don't, I don't even I, like sushi. I love sushi. She. I don't even think she, I don't know. She must have seen a commercial or something. I don't know why I've been craving. I don't even know what it tastes like, but I don't know. Like, I've just been craving it. So I think we're going to do that and then go see Black Panther. That's why I said, y'all, if you have help accessible to you, like, don't be afraid and don't feel bad about taking that help. Like, we haven't had a date night in so long. So it feels good just to know that, you know, she's being cared for by her grandma who loves her. Like, obviously don't be taking it all to help, girl, cause some people are crazy. But if you have somebody who can really hold it down for you, don't feel bad about taking a date night with your man. <laughs> cause this is one thing about me. Sad music. <laughs> uh, behind that. Oh, uh, do you have anything to say about parenthood? I think it's getting easier though for us but but you say that and then like new challenges come i think you just adapt like you just adapt as a parent to like the newness and the new challenges and like at least we can sleep a little bit now i think like as soon as like as soon as you think that you've mastered a level right that's what I'm saying. then she like a new level starts so like she has she's not crawling yet so right now right. we we've just mastered the non-moving version of her <laughs> and you know that was tough but we finally made it we got here with it right. and and she probably gonna be crawling next week and then now we gotta figure out how do we get stuff done while she's crawling because now she can go anywhere in the house that she want to get to right you know what i'm saying so it's easy to just put her on the couch and go do something real quick, make a cup of coffee or make right. dinner or whatever. When do she something. starts moving, yeah, that's definitely gonna be a challenge. Yeah, she loves TV, you know. <laughs> you throwing anything. Oh, Judge, we, Judge we, Mathis, like she Right, no, her. she was watching um uh Housewives of Dubai with my mom and she was so into it. It was the funniest thing. But as far yeah, as Shark like, Tank was another Yeah, one. she likes Shark Tank. But as far as cartoons, we allow her to watch um, Gracie's Corner. Gracie's Corner. Doc McStuffins. Doc McStuffins. Very much representation, baby, because these... I'll yeah. be putting her on the, like, 90s stuff, though. I'll be putting yeah. her on to, like, we watched MTV Cribs yesterday. <laughs> I'm talking about educational cartoons. You talking about MTV. Okay, sorry, y'all. My camera got full. Um, So, yeah, we are just... My hair looks bomb. It's really giving Pilates mommy. Yeah. Look at my hair. It looks so good. Yeah, I do. I like that. <laughs> We're such an attractive couple. Praise the Lord. What? Bye. Okay, y'all. So we'll update you when we leave the house and have our little date night. <laughs> Genesis. That's crazy. You looked over at Mama. Why you got that middle part, baby? What happened? My girl says got the middle part bust jump. Yeah, that's that hair. It's just that part that just won't go down, you know? Mm-mm. Yeah, this part over here. The alfalfa. She needs to get <laughs> shit. Not alfalfa. You got the alfalfa. Um. Oh. Oh. Um, Genesis. Yeah, you are. Here she you go still, talking. You still play. You still play. You still play. You are. Oh, 
so cute. <laughs> Look at her. She'd be happy. You want to try it? She's trying. She just can't get it out. Right. <laughs> I just stare at her all Did you sneeze? Bless you. Bless, bless, bless. I just stare at her all day because she's just beautiful. It's really her hair for me though. Oh, excuse you. You're falling. Why are you trying to fall? This is your baby fever. You're giving them, with your bubbles, you're giving them baby fever. Oh, now she's trying to eat my hand, y'all. Send help. Okay, this is officially like the chill, casual mom look. Literally a comfortable, keyword, comfortable two-piece set. Cute little crossbody moment. And then just put on like a business cash type of jacket. And it just elevates the look. And girl, I have sneakers on. Like what? I think my, my glasses... These would set this look off. I love these. Got these from Zilu. Y'all always ask me. So y'all know I am a huge advocate for healthy marriages. Like when I say when whatever you water grows, I mean that. So we are very, very intentional about our marriage. We don't just want to be married. We want to live our best married lives. You feel what I'm saying? And in order to do that, you have to water your marriage. That means taking date nights. That means spending alone time with your significant other. That means listening to your significant other, talking to them, becoming their best freaking friend. Like my husband is literally my best friend, legitimately. And that comes from spending time together and really, really just getting intimate on a deep, deep, deeper level. You feel me? So we're going to have a little date night tonight and I'm so excited. Like I showed y'all, outfit is very much casual. I love this hair. It is Pilates, mommy. On steroids. So we're headed out and I can't wait to show you guys our date night. sushi freaking believer now this is my first time having sushi and i can genuinely say it was so it was so good Jolly like enough. seriously and i was telling javon a couple weeks ago i'm like i'm craving sushi mind you i've never had sushi before it's really giving a hallmark movie movie what? moment lifetime it's very much lifetime vibes right yeah. now but Chris with the music baby. right we just need it come here baby give me a little very much Christmas vibes. I love us. 
This is amazing. That preacher's wife. That's what it reminds me of. Right. Like, it's Whitney like Houston. the couple who just is trying to get it together for the Christmas holiday. But they got all their little, all their little cousins and they siblings. Right. It's beefing, but they all about to go back home for the right, holiday. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and we're the couple that's like established. Right. Hey, man, you know, we already know our, your sister be hating. Right. Why do you got on and this her husband be cheating on her. Right. <laughs> and then the grandma dying brings we it all We basically just. Brings it all make, together. <laughs> what that's that the whole about? movie, Soul Food. We just did. We just reenacted the whole Soul Food movie. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, y'all, so I'm a sushi believer. It was literally freaking amazing. So we're headed to watch Black Panther. And when I say we're having a great time, like. No. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later.